In this video, we are going to go over how to copy one Canvas course to another. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope that y'all are surviving virtual learning. Hope that everything is going well. I've gotten a lot of requests to uh, show you how to copy a Canvas course that you've already created into another course so that they are seamless. Some of y'all may be building twice, three times, four times in each course, and that is, I'm going to tell you, uh, unfortunately, you've been wasting your time. So uh, let me take you through this and uh, get you going. So let's say test course right here is going to be my um, the course that I want to copy that content into this copy course. Okay, so test course is has the good information. Uh, I'm going to take you in here. That way we can kind of look at see what's going on uh, to make sure that we are importing everything correctly. So. Uh, welcome to Will and Jess's page. It's textbook, brain pop, uh, everything. If you want to know how to, how I made this virtual classroom, uh, there's a card up there. Go ahead and click on that. It'll take you to that. But if you want to learn how to make this home page, I've got a video on that. There's a card there. Uh, go ahead and click that. But today we're just going to focus on copying. So I wanted to show you this uh, course so that when we copy it over we can make sure that all this stuff is here so take a visual screenshot of this uh, that way we know everything is there so we're gonna go back to our dashboard here let that load up okay great now we're gonna go into this copy course right, this is just a regular course that I have okay so you can see that we don't really have a home page here uh, we don't really have much of anything going on uh, but we need to make it look like the other one because the classes are the same so uh, depending on how your canvas is set up, your uh, school may have, you know, set you up with the same class, just different sections. Each one has a different canvas course, so this would be super useful uh, to you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down on this left side down here. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to import course content. Okay, uh, so we click that. Go to import course content. So now I will tell you, like, if you if you want to copy another teacher's stuff, you can absolutely do that. We'll get to that in a, in a minute. But this is just copying a course that you have that you own uh, into a, another course that you have and you own. So here we go. We're gonna select one. We're gonna copy a Canvas course. Uh, it's gonna ask you to select the course. So we're gonna say, uh, I think that was test course. Yeah, that one was test course that we did. Uh, do we want to include? completed courses yes that's if like if I had built something last year uh, do I want to be able to copy that one in in like an archive course so now I can hit all content or specific content for now let's go ahead and hit all content I'll show you what specific content looks like uh, do I want to adjust the events and due dates no I don't uh, so we're gonna go ahead and import that so it'll bring it up to the queue it's running right now uh, as soon as it gets done running uh, it's complete now if we go home you can see that now it's the exact same course so we're in copy course uh, just to show you that it worked we're gonna go here we're in test course it looks the exact same so we go back to dashboard everything that was in test course is now going to be in the copy course now let's say we wanted to select that specific content so uh, let me show you how to do that. So let's say, you know, maybe this is a pre-AP class or you're building in a pre-AP, AP class, honors class, whatever you call it, uh, but you just want specific assignments in there. Uh, sorry, I, I actually went backwards. Uh, you want specific assignments in there, so how do we just take those specific assignments? So we're going to go back to settings. We're going to go import course content again. It's going to be the same steps. We're going to copy a Canvas course. We're going to select a course, it's going to be a test course, but now we want to select uh, specific content. No, we don't want to adjust the due dates. We're going to hit import. Now it's going to, it's going to bring up this queue and it's going to say waiting for selection. So now we're going to click here and so what do we actually want to uh, copy? So if we just want to copy the home page or we want to copy the syllabus, everything obviously I don't have that much stuff in here uh, because these are just my you know sample courses but if I did you know I'd have modules and assignments in there and then I could expand those down drop down arrows 
uh, and then select each individual assignment module whatever the case may be um, but that's absolutely an option that you have so I'm gonna go ahead and select that content now it'll run it uh, and then that specific content will be in your uh, class now let's say I'm the owner of uh, this course this copy course right here um, but you know Miss Smith down the hallway is doing the same thing I'm doing and there's no point in reinventing the wheel we can work together to build one and then she can copy over her step so if I want to allow her to be able to copy stuff I'm gonna go right here to people and once I get to this people tab what I can do is I can go to this blue button that says plus people I can click that and I can enter her email address right here so let's just say you know it's L Smith which is the example uh, that canvas gives you at you know my school obviously if this was a real teacher you have you know submit this I'm not gonna add anybody to this course but what is their role so they're a teacher TA designer observer go ahead and select them as a teacher um, what section do you want them they're in the copy course uh, can they interact with users uh, probably not so you can just leave them as that and then you hit next I'm gonna cancel this because I'm not gonna actually add anybody there but once you've added somebody in there it'll sh show right here their name uh, and they'll be able to do the same steps so they can go back down to settings and then uh, import course content and when they go to uh, copy a canvas course now they'll see your course in there so if this was Miss Smith she'd obviously see the copy course and then everything else that um, she would be using so that's it that's how to copy a course add a person to the, so that they can copy your courses y'all can work as a team there's no point in uh, two of y'all building if y'all are doing the same things uh, so we used this last year in the uh, when we went to all virtual when coronavirus hit uh, I was building stuff for my team and they were copying it over it worked like a charm uh, and no complaints out of anybody so uh, that's the video if you like the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up go smash that subscribe button uh, I hope you are liking this series of canvas tutorials I got some more stuff coming your way um, leave a comment down in the comments and tell me what you want to see if there's something that you're struggling with uh, you need to see how it's done Go ahead and leave me a comment. That way I can make a video and uh, you can benefit from that. That's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one.